You might be making this wildly common, totally human, but really bad mistake in your online business. I'm Chase Reeves from Internet. Let's get into it. Business from the beginning has been about creating something valuable to someone, whether that's the latest iPhone or a fish 3,000 years ago in a Phoenician fish market or something like that. Yet, so many of us end up making this mistake. Here, here's, what our, here's what our businesses sound like when we make this mistake. Me, 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 no, not you, me, 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 no, me, no, you, me, me, me. And we wonder why we're not an overnight success. I think this is an innately human thing to do. Okay, it's like writing on cave walls. It's like we want to put something out there and see how people respond to it. So it, it's innately human, but it's not good business. If your business has this kind of blind, just making things, doing what I want to do kind of foundation, uh, then it's not really a business. It's more of a project. Uh, and it's probably a project you'll eventually have to give up on because it's really hard to make money on it and you've got a three-year-old now and you gotta pay for the childcare and all this other things, don't you know it? By the way, I am super guilty of this as well. Uh, you might be doing this right now, you might have done it before, I certainly have. I started my first site a long time ago called Write to Mean and uh, the only two visitors were my mom and dad. But over time, working on my own sites, working with clients, started to see the key to this whole thing. See, there are businesses that buzz, that fizzle with electricity, with uh, insight and creativity. And then there are projects that fizzle out oh, gently, slowly over time. And the difference between the two is this one has defined an audience and targeted them. That is the key, okay? That changes everything about what products you make, uh, how you go about growing your audience, where you find more people, how you market to them, how you sell to them. That, that finger's kind of hard to do, but how you sell to them. Getting the right head, heart, and data about who your audience is, what their pain is, how you alleviate and solve their problems, how you make something of value to them. That's the key. That's the difference between a business that fizzles with electricity and buzz and a one that just kind of fizzles up. That's what we're gonna cover in this course, okay? Here's some of the things we're gonna talk about. What, what do we mean when we say audience? Um, what do we mean when we say define, like as in define our audience? Uh, what does defining our audience unlock for us? Like, what is it? What, why does it matter? Why should I spend time and energy doing this? Um, a mindset about how we look at our audience that's probably been the single most important change I've made to how I think and do business. Some uh, research and exercises uh, to help you think through who is your audience? Are they this one or that one, et cetera? And then finally, some, uh, some homework, some things to do for you to, to actually apply this stuff. So let's head right into the next lesson and talk about what do we mean when we say audience.